African white black vultures are not common, numbers are declining, and they're listed as near threatened in the South African Red Data Book. So they occur widely throughout Africa, and, um, but the range in Southern Africa has definitely decreased, and mainly through changing land use, you know, destruction of nest sites. But uh, in the Kimberley area, we have a fairly large healthy population, perhaps 300 pairs, the population increasing slowly. And it's mainly because of the positive attitude of the landowners and uh, sort of just the safeguarding of the, the nesting areas. But having a ring on a bird is really important because if the bird turns up dead somewhere, you know, gets poisoned or electrocuted, there's a significantly greater chance that the landowner, the person who finds the bird, will report it to you because it looks like it has an owner. And uh, so we get information about the mortality factors, which is very useful. Well, the Hawk Conservancy Trust has been involved with this African Whiteback Vulture project for a number of years now. And this year with BirdLife South Africa, we've got this exciting new development, which is fitting GPS units to four of the birds. And what those units are going to do is give us very important information, specifically where the birds are going after they leave the nest. And it's really important to know that information because although with wing tags and ring recoveries, we can find out where a bird is recovered, usually after it's dead, with these GPS units, we can actually follow the birds daily and find out what sort of risks they're exposed to, where they're going, where they're feeding, what they do outside the breeding season, which is really important for the conservation of the species. One of the nice things that we've really been involved in the last few years is the construction of a hide at the Dronfield Vulture Restaurant. And this work was done and sponsored by the Hawk Conservancy Trust and De Beers and uh, we're really grateful for that support and it's a, a, the most amazing experience to go and sit in this hide behind one-way glass and watch you know 50 or 100 vultures feeding on a, on a carcass. Of course a project like this isn't really possible without the help and support of a lot of people and we're very grateful of course to De Beers who've been a great support from the project from the very beginning. BirdLife South Africa and all the other volunteers and assistants who've helped with the ringing and the identifying and the catching of the birds all throughout this project. None of it would be possible without them. It's really fantastic to have um, an enthusiastic group of people who really love raptors come and assist us. And it's hands-on work for the group from the UK and uh, you know, good for us as well to learn um, from the Hawk Conservancy Trust staff and volunteers because they have a lot more experience in handling birds. It's a really an incredible collaboration that we have between the Kimberley researchers and conservationists and the, the group from the Hawk Conservancy Trust.